Good morning from Disney's Boardwalk Hotel. I'm on my way to the back entrance of Epcot for the annual pin trading event. Um, it's 6.30 right now. The event doesn't start until 9.30, so three hours early. Hopefully this line isn't too long, but excited to go and do day one today, day two tomorrow of Disney's annual pin event. Its theme is Fairy Tales, T-A-I-L-S, so it's themed around um, Disney's animals. So really excited. Let's go check out this line. Okay, so I'm about 10 deep. Now there is a different price point. For an extra $100, you could have got a different package. And that gets you in at 8.30, so I wonder if these people are here for the 8.30. I'm hoping today for some really good pulls off the pin board. Last year I got my first two pulls were a jumbo door and a window of evil, Hades. Both artist proof, so hopefully we get some great pulls today. Just got through the gate check. It's about 7.30, headed over to the line. The entrance at the back uh, entryway to Epcot, it's all under construction, so it's a little wild getting through. So for this event, they're gonna have two lines. The Best in Show, which was an extra ticketed event, cost like, I think, an extra $100. They're gonna go in a separate line, and then Furry Friends, which is the regular ticket price, they're gonna go in afterwards, so they're gonna split the lines into two, and the Best in Show is gonna go in first. So they just made an announcement, and we're about to go through the turnstiles. Just got to the second stop at Epcot, waiting in line here. Two separate lines, one for furry friends, and then one for the best in show. So that's the best in show, that's the extra ticket package line, and then this is our line. Pavilion Center, the where the pin event is. I'm looking straight ahead, and there is already the other line from the front entrance. Check this out. Here's the other line from the front gate. Headed over into the Pavilion Center, and now we wait. All right, so here's a line update. It's about almost nine o'clock. So they're letting in Best in Show, which is the VIP ticket. And then after they go in, then we get to go in. All right, here we go. Going in. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Have fun. pin line that I just got in has three pin boards so it should move fairly quickly. Usually when you're in these lines you wait at least an hour if not more. But the trades on the pin board are awesome so it's definitely worth it. So if you would have just got here at 9.35 this is what the crowd looks like. It's packed already. All right, first pin trading board. Let's see if we can get some good pulls off of here. Thank you, Thank you sir. Welcome, and you have a minute. Here's a close look at the pins that I just pulled off the pin boards. Got the Evil Queen and a Pocahontas pin. Both of them are artist proof pins, so pretty good first pull. Something different for the pin event this year is they had a VIP, it's called Best in Show, for this particular pin event. They had a special pin trading board just for them. And on that pin board they had WDI pins, their LE 250, um, some soda found pins. So a really nice addition. Next year I'm definitely gonna have to try to get the VIP package. So usually at the pin event they always do silent auctions. So they have about eight or so silent auctions. So you can just come over here, write your name on the list. So this first one is for the Windows of Yule set. They're all pre-production pins. But I'm gonna show you real quick all of the auction lots that they have available.
my second board pull. Here we go. All right, so you get 60 seconds as soon as you turn around and look at the board, right? Sounds good, yep. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here's a quick look at some of the pins on the board. Here's a look at the pins that I pulled for my second board pull. Got a power line pin and this Jasmine and Baby Raja pin. So here's the pins for my third board pull. Got a Pan and Panic Chaser, it's LE250, and a Happy Holidays Beauty and the Beast with uh, Belle and Lumiere. So we just waited in line for about an hour. We're waiting in a line that has three different pin boards, so we're finally up. They changed the boards a little bit ago, so hopefully there's still some good stuff on there for us. 60 seconds, as soon as you look at the board, I'll start. Here's a quick look at some of the pins for my fourth board pull. All right, Stacey, what'd you get? First one is the Three Fairies from Sleeping Beauty. I feel like, I, is, that, is this that one set that I wanted? Like all those different books? Right, it's like a storybook. It tells a story of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I thought that one was really cool. But this was the only one they had from that set up there. But I like that one a lot. And they also had, this says Fine and Dandy, and it has Mary Poppins with the Penguins. Awesome. Isn't that cute? That's some good pulls, Stace. Yeah, um, they didn't have too much else up there. There was a couple of the puzzle pieces from Cinderella and a lot of the run Disney pins, like the medals. I really like these too, actually. And there were a lot of hidden Mickeys up there, which I was surprised at. So I got a Scrooge McDuck pin. I was looking for this one. This is an artist proof, so that's pretty cool. And I also got this Up puzzle piece pin. This one's a limited edition of 1100, so that's pretty cool. So I got some pretty good pulls there. I like it. Going up for another board pull. Hopefully we get something good. Tell me how it works with the pin. So you get two pins, a little pin training tab, and you got 60 seconds to go through the board and pick two pins that you like. Yeah. Might seem like a long time, but it's not. It goes real quick. different line because I don't want to wait an hour and a half. I know. This one's shorter because there's three boards. I know. These are the pins that we just pulled off the board. We've got a Star Wars marathon pin. I'm not sure. What is this one from? Do you know? This is from like the park pack box oh, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And a Pirates pin and this is a pin from, sorry, and this pin is from last year's event. Animation Celebration. Yeah. So what did you think of the pulls? The pulls were okay. They weren't that great. The selection was very limited. Yeah. And I had a pretty new board too, and there wasn't that much up there. So I think we're gonna try a different line. All right, so I just wanted to take a real quick break and show you what the event looks like. So this is where you enter over here under the fairy tale sign. And then directly to your left, they have right now, this wasn't set up earlier, but right now they have an artist signing of pins. And then um, when that is moved, then you can take pictures in front of the background, see with um, the different cutouts which is a really cool picture opportunity. And then this is the entrance to the actual event. So we're going up for our last board pull of the day. They just added an extra board, so hopefully we pull something great and we'll see what happens. And time. Actually, I'll do both of those. This okay. one and the dragon. Yeah. Thank you. How'd you do? Nah, it's okay. How'd you do? My board was stacked. What? <laughs> All right, tell me what we got. All right, so Stacy got these two Sleeping Beauty, whoa, Sleeping Beauty puzzle pins. Got Maleficent and in her dragon form, pretty cool. I got this flower and garden pin. It's artist proof. Cool. And then I got this Epcot 35th anniversary. And that one's an artist proof as well. Stacy did way better than me. Well, we got lucky that the boards got switched right before we went up there. Yeah. So I think my board is like brand new. Yeah, but mine didn't, mine didn't have that much stuff. It was, eh. At every pin trading event, they always do a pin preview. So we're going to go check out the pins that are going to be released throughout the rest of the year.
still have all of our pin trading tabs today, so I think we're gonna head out. But this is gonna be this video is gonna have uh, day one and day two of the pin event. So we're gonna close today out, but we're gonna pick it back up tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye bye. Go ahead. Hey guys, good morning! Today is Saturday, August 10th, and it's the second day of Disney's Fairy Tales pin trading event at Epcot. Travis got up early this morning, um, actually around 5.30, so he could take an Uber over to the boardwalk and then go in the back entrance of Epcot and wait in line because he likes to be at the head of the line for the pin trading boards. But I slept in, and it's about 9.30 right now, so I'm going to go take the car over to Epcot and meet Travis up at the pin event. Look who I found! Do you see Travis in line waving right there? He's almost at the front of the pin trading line, so I can't go jump in with him. But I'm gonna sit over here. This is um, like sitting area that they have set up in front of the stage where they do shows every couple hours and they do like the what's in my pin bag game and the trivia games, it's really fun. And then over to my right, there's some more pin trading line activities. And then behind us, they have the pin auction set up. Uh, we didn't bid on anything, uh, but Travis would like to. <laughs> What'd you get, babe? I don't know, I saw this one. I've never seen it before, but I think it's a regular pin. What is it? Aerials. Oh, that's cool. And then this one's artist proof puzzle pin. So we're about to go up. <laughs> we got our pins ready. Hopefully, we get some good trades. We'll see what happens. Praying for the best. How do you feel about the board? The first pull that I did today was pretty good. I was excited about that. So I was feeling good. Then my second pull wasn't that great. So third pull, let's be a winner. Yeah. Five seconds. You have the two you want? Yes. Um, this one and this one. How'd you do? That was horrible. Meh, meh. I mean, like, the worst. What? Like, the worst? The worst. Oh, come on, man. Wasn't anything I even remotely liked. Nothing. Stacey just pulled this pirate ship one from, I think it's Shanghai. Grand opening Disneyland Resort. So, good pull. I don't know, it's a pirate ship. What, what was the other one that you got? That's cute. A love story. It's cute. Oh, it's a food and wine pin. Yeah. I mean, it's artist proof, so that's nice. What'd you get? Probably better than I could find last time around. I got this. It's like a regular pen. Whatever. But I did, but, but I did get this Ursula Valentine pen. Oh, that's a good one. Artist proof. I'm into that. So I think that they're about to do the announcement of what next year's event is going to be. What is our guess, Travis? What do you think next year's theme is going to be? It's really hard to pick what the next theme will be because it has to kind of encompass all of Disney. So there could be various pins throughout that most people would like. So if I wanted to guess what my perfect pin event would be, it would be themed around the Disney afternoon. Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale, Gummy Bears, Tailspin. Goof Troop, all that stuff. That would be awesome. They've been playing a lot of princess music as we've been waiting in line, so if Stacy had a choice, she'd want to be princess themed, which I think would be kind of hard, but they did a villains event, so maybe they'll do a princess event. So on the panel they were just talking about when pin trading started, 1999, October 1999. And now that I'm trying to think about the pin trading event next year, it's the year 2020, 20th anniversary. Uh oh, so I don't know, maybe theme, theme around that maybe. Next year's pin event will be celebrating 20 years of Disney pin trading. The history, the process, from where pin trading started to where it is today. We're going to be covering all of the events back from when it started in 2000, 1999, the first event, through the Florida Project, yeah. to Reflections, to today's fairy tales, and every event in between. So next year's pin theme of the event is going to be based on all of the old themes of the pin trading event. Right. What but they've of, already done that. I know, so what kind of new pins can they have? Right. I'm a little confused. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll just take the themes of each one and create new pins based on the themes from I mean, the last one. I'm ones. guessing, but it's like those themes have already been done. I don't know. I'm hopeful. We'll see what happens. I was really hoping for retro 90. Maybe, maybe there'll be some in there. I don't know. Um, Snow White, please. And Max. 
Travis is up there right now. We went to the same board um, because I guess I, well, it took a full minute, but when he came back, he's like, I don't want to go to the same board you're going to, but I told him that I missed a Jafar heart on the bottom left. I think that's what he just pointed to, so hopefully he got that. Uh, I got the Valentine heart, so that was pretty cool. And then I remember um, Chris telling us about the play pins. They're hard to find because it's like a game you play in line while you wait for the ride. Oh. And you got to play it so much, and then after you play it so much, then you can buy the pin. Oh, okay. So, it's a pirate one, so I was like, all right, cool. cool. So I didn't know that this was actually a good pin that I got. So this is from The Art of Snow White. This is a box set from the Disney store. We actually have the whole set, but this is a nice pin. That's a good pull, Stacy. Oh. Heck yeah. So a good one on that. And then Stacy got an artist proof of the Disney Afternoon series. These are a limited edition of 400. So awesome. That was a good one. No, you did great. I got this Jafar Valentine pin. That was an artist proof. Limited edition of four of uh, 340. And then I got this play pin. It's an artist proof. Look at this sweet pin that Travis traded. This is a DuckTales pin from the Disney Afternoon UK collection. So these are pins that were released at the Disney store in the United Kingdom a while ago. So I like how sparkly it is. I know. There's four pins in this set. I have two of them now, so I gotta find the other two. Cool. I know. I got Goof Troop and Gummy Bears are the last two. I don't know if you guys saw our pin trading event uh, videos from last year, but he got the first one in the set last year. So if you want to watch that to see the pin, I'll link to that down below. We're about to go up for our last board trade. Hopefully we get something great. Here we go. And Jasmine down here, up please. Oh, that's so pretty. Travis is still up there at the board. He's making his selections right now. I just got mine. That was a babe. <laughs> mine was too. So for my last board pulls, I got this Disneyland 60th puzzle piece. Yep, it is AP, and this is the Chaser. It's LE 550, so not too bad. And then I got this Oswald countdown pin okay. and it's limited edition and artist proof. Stacy got a pre-production of animation celebration with um, Scrooge, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Stacy got this Jasmine Ralph Breaks the Internet pin. It's artist proof. So not too bad Stace. You did pretty good. It was really rough. Slim Pickens up there. Slim Pickens? Very. I mean it wasn't the best board but at least we found something. So we're about to leave. We just picked up our exit gift, which has Pegasus and Lady. And this is, I think, from Mulan, the little grasshopper. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not sure. It looks like it's Toy Story. Oh, yeah. It's a little, um, is it Slinky Dog? I don't think so. Looks like his face, kind of. But I'm not sure. I don't know, but they're cute. But anyways, this is the exit gift. The packaging is super cute. I like how it has like, a little dog collar on there. Yeah. So. That's a wrap on Pin Trading Event 2019. Woo woo! Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. I thought the pin event was a lot of fun. Got some really good trades on the boards. What'd you think? Yeah, I think we got some, some good pulls off the boards. It was fun to see our pin friends. We each got a really good pin trade. My yeah. Jasmine pin that Travis got for me and your DuckTales. So I think it was worth it. Overall, we had a great time with the event. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us and seeing what it was like. And that is it for us. So we will see you on our next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.